we are part of a group that's spearheading the implementation of both uh, DevOps and Agile within the organization, uh, Fannie Mae, and all of our application development. Our application development uh, encompasses over 600 applications. And what we're doing is we're going through and accelerating and pushing the ownership and uh, empowering developers through Agile to make the right decisions to drive higher quality. From a DevOps perspective, this enables us to accelerate our delivery while also left shifting the quality of an application to find items earlier, which also feeds into the uh, acceleration as well. Our DevOps in, entails a number of different strategies ranging from CI, CD, continuous integration, continuous delivery, to um, rapid IT where you can virtualize, stand up rapid uh, VMs, your virtual servers for projects on demand and then take them down as at, at will and need. We're utilizing a number of different code quality tools that are tied into our DevOps strategy because if you're moving rapidly, you're gonna have higher quality issues and there's gonna be some issues that occur. So you want to capture those as quickly as possible and build in quality into your process. Along those lines, we're using uh, a number of different tools at the IDE level, such as various, uh, one of the tools is Sigital Security Assist is a plug-in to uh, Eclipse, for example. We have PMD, which is a style checker tool for code quality. Then we go to Sonar Cube, which allows project teams to set their own rules and do their, their work. We utilize CAST in our CICD. So whenever you run a, do a continuous integration, you're also initiating CAST scans which then feeds back to the team and this is all tied into their acceptance criteria so that whenever they take the input from the CAS scan, they can correct those items and then roll that forward. So it's left shifting and driving forward early as possible within the life cycle, the code quality findings and addressing those when they are an issue to the project. We look at this all as a, a stack of tools. One tool doesn't solve all problems. So the developers utilize a lot of tools to find the easy to find defects. And this is like your style checkers, your uh, tools that are related to, uh, you know, there's PMD, there's security, uh, which also later on we do fortify as part of our CICD scans as well. Then there is the sonar is used by the team as part of early system integration. That's also tied into our continuous integration. And then we look at the um, CAST AIP as the tool that we utilize for our architectural structural analysis. There are some plugins and such that tie into the IDE that allow you to look at it from a transactional level, but it's still at your component code, code line level where CAST AIP allows us to look at everything from the architecture and structural and transactional analysis from your database to your UI and then drive down to the code level where needed. And we're really using CAST AIP to focus on the critical defects that really the 10% of items that result to 90% of your uh, production outages. We've gone through a couple different life cycle stages and rolling out CAST AIP. One of these projects was an early adopter, uh, for, was part of the pilot, and we did seven apps as part of the pilot. Then when we started rolling it out as an early adoption program, they stepped up and they were one of the first apps at Rescan. And they started, they were doing Agile with two week sprints and they were running a Rescan every two weeks. From this, they were actually able to drive a high level of quality where they were hit a point where they were not introducing, they used CAST AIP to re, uh, do retrospectives to identify where they were repeating quality issues. So they would identify it during the retrospective and then what they would do is they would utilize that to tweak their processes. Through CAST AIP, we were able to identify through the metrics that they were not introducing, they were introducing new quality issues, those that happens throughout the process, but they were actually eliminating the repetitive issues that tend to occur. So they were able to use the tool to get feedback on their process and their coding practices, roll that into the, the next sprint and stop the introduction of the same issue from 
uh, sprint to sprint. We have hit a footprint of about 45 apps and approximately 20% of those were doing rescans. At that point in time, we sat down and did our early analysis. We had enough of a footprint and enough rescans across those apps that were doing it to be able to say, here is our driver and quality. Now, Cast alone, because we're using a stack of code quality tools, Cast alone did not drive quality. But what we were able to do is look at the different tools and say, those projects that we're using, and there were projects that were using Cast alone, were averaging between 10 to 24% with a median of 18% improvement in their overall quality. Then there were projects that were the more tools they use. For example, there was one project that was using Crucible uh, to do targeted code reviews, and they would actually use CAST. They would run CAST through, identify where the issues were, and instead of a developer or a lead going through and going through line by line of code, they were actually able to go in and directly and look at particular code. And they had a savings between 40 to 80 percent um, in their code reviews alone. So that was actually one of the uses. But what we saw is those projects that were using more tools, like they were combining Crucible with Sonar, with various different plugins at the IDE level, were realizing higher levels and practices such as Agile and tying it into their DevOps uh, flow through CICD, which is another element that feeds into your co uh, quality of your application, were realizing between 36 to 48 percent. The one project that was doing full DevOps, full Agile, using all the tools, actually actually realized we were able to measure a 48% improvement in their overall code quality from the point that they started utilizing CAST up to the point that they released.